So this question provides us with a little graph here with the quadrants labeled. And then it says, if the system of inequalities y greater than or equal to 2x plus 1 and y greater than 1 half x minus 1 is graphed in the xy plane above, which quadrant contains no solutions to the system? So what I would suggest you do here is actually redraw an xy plane. I don't want to rely on this tiny xy plane that was provided to me. And then we're going to actually graph these inequalities. So the first one, y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. That tells me that the y-intercept is at 1. So put that there. And then the slope is 2 over 1. So 2, 3, and 1. So I should have another point here, roughly. And then because it's greater than or equal to, I can connect those dots with a solid line. And I can shade everything above that solid line, right? So that's the graph of that inequality. The next inequality says y is greater than 1 half x minus 1. So in this case, my y-intercept is at negative 1. And the, um, the slope is 1 half, so up 1 and over 2. So I go up 1 to the origin over 2. So my next point would be right there. And then because it just says greater than, not greater than or equal to, I'm going to put a dashed line through those two points. And then it also is greater than, so I'm going to also shade above, sorry, shade above that dashed line. Now, if you recall, the solution set for a um, system of inequalities is wherever you see the overlap. In this case, it's the red and blue vertical lines, and now I'm drawing horizontal lines. So we would have, you know, solution, basically everything above here. So I'm going to just darken this with red. So above the dashed line here, but then above the solid line here is where we have an overlap, right? So all of this. So the quadrants that those are in is quadrant one. We have a little piece of quadrant one right here. We have a lot of quadrant two, basically all of quadrant two falls under our solution. And then we have some of quadrant three here, what we do not, where we do not have solution is in quadrant four. So that's why the answer to this question is choice C, because that is the quadrant that contains no solutions to the system. It has a little bit of the graph, right? We have a little piece here, but that's not a part of our actual solution.